Get it while the dude Mungus 3000. Let me uh, let me get this picture off real quick because that like no this shot right was flashing in, bro. I, this shot ain't gonna make it, bro. That shot ain't gonna make it. I drove them pretty hard uh, the last time I rode them and didn't put gas in. So let me get some petrol in here and then uh, then we'll be ready to rock and roll, man. I'll be right back with y'all. Give me one second. We're recording all the way. Do 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 that. All right, we're back. <laughs> what up, man? It's your boy Duke Mungus. You might see me in some different gear today because I don't know if you can see that. A huge shout out to my boy ZX10 Mez. Uh, I entered in for one of his last giveaways that he did, and um, believe it or not, your boy actually won. <laughs> so I actually got a t shirt. Uh, I know you really can't see it now. When I get home, I'm gonna get Wifey to take some pictures, and I will e insert some pictures of this shirt. But I wanted to give a huge shout out to my boy ZX10 Mez. Actually, I'm gonna leave his link in the description. Click on it, go subscribe, follow his channel. He's giving some really good content with the uh, 2021. DX10, but hey man, I appreciate you man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But man, today, man, dude, I am excited today. <laughs> and today is gonna be a good day. <laughs> man, so um I'm excited, man. I'm actually headed up to Cycle Gear to get test fitted for a race suit. Uh Mungus is the time is finally coming. My birthday is in the summertime around August and I am committed to doing a track day. Wifey gave me the thumbs up. Yo, this is what you want to do, go for it. Um, so I am going to get test fitted for a suit. I don't know which brand I'm going to go with, but I'm going to get test fitted just to get my size together. And um, I need, all I have is pretty much your basic street gear. Um, so I need everything. I need the suit, the boots, the gloves. My helmet will already work. But I need everything else, <laughs> pretty much. And uh, y'all gotta know my wife. I love my wife. She's like, yo, I really don't care what you get. She's like, just make sure it's one of the safest things that's out there. So, hey man, I appreciate you watching, man. Appreciate you. But yeah, I'm excited, man. It's gonna be my first track day. So I'm, I'm gonna call this my daggum, uh, I guess track day prep. <laughs> I don't know. So I know absolutely zero about this world. Only thing I know is what I see. Moto America and Moto GP. So I've never been on the track before. I'm super nervous. And for my first track day, I will be doing Road Atlanta, which is uh, one of my favorite tracks. Uh, well, via Forza Motorsports <laughs> is one of my favorite tracks. So um, I've been to the track once. Actually, um, I made a video about when I went up to uh, Moto America and seen them guys up there uh, racing and stuff like that. I did the parade lap, and the track was daggum huge. So. Um, this is gonna be my first time actually racing on the track. Well, I ain't gonna be racing, but you know, you know, you know, track day, man. I, you can see I'm excited. I'm daggum excited and daggum nervous is what I am, man. <laughs> but it's gonna be good. I hear it's an experience that everyone needs to ride. And honestly, legit, my hope after doing this track day, and I'm really hope I'm able to vlog in this style. I mean, of course, I'm not gonna be hands off the the um, the bars or anything like that. But I'm really hope that I'm able to vlog it. So. I can help bridge the gap because it seems like I don't know what it is and I'm probably going to end up doing a separate video on it but the street riders versus the track riders versus the drag racers for some reason oh my goodness man it's like I don't know it's like this internal battle and I don't even know what it is <laughs> I have no idea why my whole thinking on it and I'm not gonna go too deep into it but my whole thinking on it is like yo all of us are on motorcycle high two wheels we should be the happiest people in the world and it should be like this huge brother camaraderie thing going on so you got the street riders versus your track riders versus your road race riders versus your official drag racers i don't know what the beef is about but <laughs> heck yeah man hey how you doing baby ah oh, this is like my favorite part about having a bike is a kid lighting up man like goodness gracious i light up well that's how i used to light up motorcycle had two yeah that's how I used to light up uh, when I was a kid, seeing bikes and uh, my dad and everybody with their first bike. Heck yeah, man. Oh, that shot. Ah, yeah. The weather, it hasn't officially switched in Georgia, but 
dude when i left the house it was like 65 degrees and this is the most perfect of perfect days <laughs> it's heck and y'all know when y'all see me without my jacket i ain't doing nothing crazy so i can always let you know it ain't gonna be no hits ain't gonna be no none of that going on this is literally a vlog about my experience of going to get fitted and getting some track gear so we're gonna see how it goes man uh yeah we just see so i'll check in with y'all man i'm just your boy is just excited man, man. i don't know man. this is gonna be weird i've only been on the street since i've been riding motorcycles it's going to be weird to like imagine all these favorite roads i like to go to brushy uh red top mountain blood mountain imagine like a track like that and the, the lanes feel like it's four lanes wide and there's no obstruction you are free you don't have to worry about cars cutting across the road you don't have to worry about gravel necessarily you can just like kind of ride man dude it is going to be crazy my mind is already blown and so excited and so hyped i am telling myself and i get this advice from a lot of um track people is humongous calm yourself down like relax don't go out there trying to prove nothing y'all know monkeys really like i have fun i really don't have an ego but i have fun dude um but i'm still telling myself bro don't get too hyped don't get too excited because y'all know how dead shot do so to be able to like actually get dead shot over and lean them over oh man it's gonna be it's gonna be fun you know what i mean like i'm not trying to go out there drag no elbow and try to drag no knee honestly no lie bro like i am trying to get through the first track day without like dropping the bike looping the bike or whatever so y'all know i ride dead shot in like super aggressive mode so what i am going to do i'm going to take dead shot out of that super aggressive mode all right guys i had to pull over real quick so i could show you uh the different throttle maps inside of tomb boy this is totally completely separate from what comes on the bike ducati this is all in the tomb boy ecu flash so right now i'm on the most aggressive throttle map there is so what you do you cut the bike in the on position the accessories on position you squeeze the throttle all the way so when it shows up five that five was the least aggressive map five is the least aggressive six is midway seven is all the way seven is what i ride that shot in that's that shot stays in seven aggressive but when i go to the track oh i'm gonna be on five bro <laughs> be on five as heck it is still be aggressive because that's just the nature of the 1199 so you know like in sport mode it's like okay i'm gonna give you the power now and you don't rip the throttle so you rip the throttle and it's like i'm gonna give you the power now you got everything in race mode in 100 percent aggressive mode which is how i read that shot it's when you twist the throttle dude you got it instantly it's no building up to it it's you have it so i'm not gonna ride in that mode <laughs> your boy gonna have to get used to the bike because i've never ridden a bike in that way before i'm still gonna have the dyno tune and the extra power that i got from the duck shop but it's going to give me the power as if it was the stock ducati map is what it's going to do um, one of, everybody keep looking. <laughs> I'm gonna say motorcycle have two wheels. Oh, I love this rap that Atlanta Custom Rap did on this thing, bro. Everybody, I can't stop them from looking hard, staring. <laughs> Dude, I ain't trying to dump my bike. And I know I probably need to get that out of my head, like being scared about dropping my bike or whatever, but man, uh uh, man, nah, bro. <laughs> nah, man. The dead shot, that scrum dilly that dead shot has, it's. Whew, Hey man, that's a scrum dealy of a level that ain't been scrum dealy before. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. So I, th I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to try my best to be chill. And I'm glad I'm talking right now. I'm getting this out of my system because I have to talk and get this nervousness out before I get to the track because I got to be ready. I'm not even saying I need to be on boss mode when I get to the track. I just need to let some of these nerves go. I know I'm going to be nervous, but I need to get some of these these shakes out man Woo! i need to talk to somebody man so <laughs> i appreciate y'all letting me vent oh man also any of my dude and do that if any of y'all been to a track or been on the track day before drop me some advice in the comments bro because your boy got to get ready i got like five months to get ready but man i'm losing you i'm just ready everyone out here say it's nothing compared to like riding on the street man like nothing man so i did y'all got me hype i can tell you that right now you got me hype and then my boy man's bro you got me feeling like a boss i can't lie i'm feeling like a boss in the shirt i put the shirt on let me tell you something 
This shirt is wifey approved. I put the shirt on. She gave me that look like, hey boy, you know what I'm saying? You know what time it is. And I was like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so man, that lets you know right there, boy. You got a good shirt on your hands, boy. Also, something I hear is I hear, and you, dude, this nothing. Y'all know what I say? Nothing is Bible. I'm legit trying to get some advice. Something else I hear is the Michelin-like street tire. Like I'm running the Power Five. I hear the Michelin street tire. I heard this from not only that is a beautiful house, gold right there, gold. I heard this from my uh, cousin Hitman, which been on the track. He was like, "Yo, the Michelin street tire gets real slippery," you know on the track once you start warming it up and getting it to heat and I, I i heard that from multiple people not just him but i like these tires for the street they've handled everything i've thrown at them for the street but the street i know is much different than being on the track so uh y'all let me know man would y'all go with the pirellis or would y'all run with the michelin power fives my idea of what i'm thinking is legit is to put the michelins back on the carbon wheels i have because I know I'm gonna need wheel. I'm gonna excuse. I know I'm gonna need tires before you know that time in August comes. So I'm thinking about sticking another set of Michelin's on here because the Michelin's on here is great for what I can do on the street. And then on my stock rims, put the Pirellis on the stock rims and run those as my track rims or tires. And those will literally only hit the track. Motorcycle high three wheel. I promise when I get older, man, and my legs get tired and I can't hold this thing up, boy. I'm gonna get on the three wheel. <laughs> I'm getting on deck on something, man. I'm gonna keep on rolling. Motorcycle high, two wheel. Got the lady on the back chilling. Chill, chill, chill. Man, I don't know if y'all remember this road, but this is the road I literally recorded my first Dude Mungus video on. It was, Let's do a little hit, third gear. If that's coming through on camera it was uh it was me and the hitman um i knew nothing about <laughs> i knew nothing about recording nothing about audio this brings back some memories man and i'm still rocking with my boy i'm still on dead shot he's still holding it dead going down bro <laughs> heck yeah wow this is crazy like imagine doing these turns and there's no cars on the other side of the road so you can swing out and i mean i, I don't know man Oh my god, bro. I am, man. My nerves are through the roof, bro. <laughs> it's heck, man. But I'm actually glad I got this quick shifter and auto whip, so that's one less thing I have to worry about. I can kind of focus on my lines, I guess, and what I'm doing. And I don't even know what line should be taken. Oh, man, yeah. I, yeah, I don't I just don't know. <laughs> I just don't know what that is. So, I mean, we gonna, we gonna figure it out, though. something else man i know i keep bringing them random points but this is just how nervous i am and how much i don't know about riding on a track i have no idea about body position so i mean i don't know the first thing about it so i'm pretty sure i ain't no pretty sure i'm positive <clears throat> excuse me i'm positive i have a lot of bad street habits from street riding i'm positive i have a ton of those yeah and i, I think that's gonna i ain't gonna say hurt me but yeah i think that's gonna hurt me you know we're getting my mindset right but that's one thing i appreciate but appreciate about chris and his group man this is a coach and y'all seen it in my other video he's gonna help me out and he's gonna train me through all of this man so i'm i'm, I'm pretty daggum excited man um and i didn't even know motorcycle have chair wheel. i didn't even know we was gonna link up uh as far as friendship and stuff like that i had no idea we was gonna link up like that so um I'm pretty daggum stoked and I'm pretty daggum excited. Appreciate you, bro. No, I, ain't, I almost didn't see him, but um, I appreciate Chris. We were friends before we talked about this track day. So having a friend that's going to give me an inside track, not that he would treat anyone else different that's new to the track, but I just feel like dude, he's giving me the inside track and what to know, what to do, what not to do. And even though I'm nervous, he's definitely helping my confidence out which is at this moment still low <laughs> it's low as heck but man yo i am just excited man i am i yo i am just you know, something else i have a question about is uh when you're at the racetrack uh do they have like is it a, is it like a petrol station at the racetrack where you can uh fill up you know your bike with gas and then say if there's not a petrol station do you how much petrol do you bring 
for an uh, all day track event. So I'm gonna be running like two days, um, Saturday and Sunday at the track. How much petrol do I need to bring for myself, you know, like at the track? Like, what do I, you know, what do I do? <laughs> Heck yeah. So, uh, yeah, these are just questions that I have, man. And they might sound real silly, and I apologize to any track experts in here. But, dude, I, I literally just do not know. <laughs> so, please, y'all, help me out, dude, to do that. Help your boy out, because I just do not know. Thank you for watching, dude. Thank you for watching, dude. No market. No market. Thank you for watching, dudes. No market.